What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got Dream Theater for the first time today, Samantha. Yes, I'm excited. I've never heard of Dream Theater, so this should be interesting. Well, we're excited every time we do a group or artist yes. for the first time. Comedian. We do comedy on the channel as well. If this is your first time on the channel, we do music, comedy, sports, and history. Yes. And we're coming to Dream Theater because uh, we have a request, a paid request from who? Pico Man. <laughs> I think that's an alias. I don't think that's your yeah, real I, name. Yeah, I think that's an alias that was left, but all good. Pico, man, we're, we're coming to Dream Theater because of you. Thank you for that yes. support. And uh, we really appreciate the support from everybody, whether it's a paid request, a subscription, a like, a comment. You guys yes. have made this Thank community so much, what guys. it is today. Thank you so much. So Dream Theater, we have not heard of them prior to coming to this, right? No. Just confirming that that is true for Sam, Yeah, too. no, I've never heard of them. I have not heard of them, and we've got In the Name of God. Looks like it's from 2003. Yeah, and a while ago. Progressive Metal is, I believe, what Dream Theater falls into. Um, but uh, we don't know anything about them other than that. We're excited to learn, and yeah. it's a 14-minute song that we're going to do here, which is probably going to be close to one of the longest that we've done in terms of one song on yeah. the channel. Yeah. So guess we should get going into we it. We should probably get moving on it. If you're ready. <laughs> I'm ready. You're ready. I'm ready. Let's roll. Very interesting start to this one. 
Yeah, I really liked the beginning, like that intro piece uh, with like all just the instrumentation in the beginning, like that beginning riff I thought was really cool. Mm -hmm. I like that. I felt like it built, built the energy really well in the beginning. Well, yeah, it's just interesting riff work in general that they have. They're switching it up yeah. pretty frequently. Felt like there was a couple of time signature switches in there. I don't know. It's hard to pick out on the first listen, but yeah. um, really... You know, I guess this is the progressive metal sound, which I haven't been exposed much. If you guys don't know, and your first time on the channel, yeah. we didn't listen to any metal at all before we started. So yeah. we've been introduced to so learning. many subgenres of metal at this yeah. point. This again is a different feel from the metal standpoint. Um, this is also a much different time period than most of the metal that we've done. Yeah, I guess that's that's true. Yeah, I mean, we've done earlier stuff mostly from yeah. the metal side. This I mean, we've 2000s, done thousands, right? Yeah, so. we've done like System of Down and stuff like that, right? But anyways, um, I was just saying that it's interesting. The composition is it's heavy in some spots, but very melodic in others, and then blended in in other parts. So we're only three minutes in, but I felt like it's pretty been pretty intricate so, thus it's far. Changed a lot so far in the composition side of things. Uh, lyrics are interesting as well. Seems like so far um, discussing the idea of using religion to create violence. Yep. In some ways, um, I'm not going to comment too much more on the lyrics thus far because I feel like we're probably going to have more to come. Yeah, and I feel like there hasn't been that many yet. Like we're three minutes into the song and it's been mostly instrumentation. Yeah, but he's got a cool vocal. He does. It, it stands out. It's great clarity in it yeah. to, to recognize the vocals. I know we have a, um, lyric, a lyric video, um, but uh, sorry, I should say recognize the lyrics. I know we have a lyric video, but I'm still picking up most of what he's saying just from listening. I don't really have to look at the screen, which is yeah. refreshing. And based off of the instrumentation leading into before the vocal started, I thought his vocal was going to be heavier. Yeah. So it was a little bit different than what I expected. Not yeah. in a bad way. I just like I just assumed that. Well, that's what I mean, right? From the our introduction to metal, it's so crazy how vastly different vocalists can be. Mm -hmm. He's got a very yep. melodic sounding vocal for yep. me, and whereas you know we've heard, heard other raspy and you know screaming, we've heard all different kinds. <laughs> heard it all. <laughs> and so you know this would I fall into the category of metal I've tended to enjoy a Same. lot more. So yep. so far I'm really impressed. Don't want to comment anymore because we got a long, a long way to go. <laughs> a long way to go. So let's keep it moving.
really cool. again now that we got a little Another uh, completely different switch up yeah so uh, that would be our I guess our third section that we've entered into there um, it's a cool way they transition it's really seamless as mm -hmm. well really not losing the momentum of the song and it's cool that they can keep the theme of it you know I don't feel like I've moved away at all from the concept of the song at any no, point I haven't got lost from like that underlying meaning not lost in the sauce in any way no. and um i really really like his vocal actually me too it's a great vocal i mean um he's showing his ability to to be by diverse as well right he's got the dexterity that he's showing off in you know these different sections and i'm actually really liking the lyrics i mean you know i'm self-proclaimed i you know i believe in god and you know i'm a spiritual guy go to church um but you know i also take the perspective that religion has been warped on many respects and many yep. times and people the fall you know the idea i think he's con conveying is the false prophet right like yeah and also talking about that fine line between like god and mankind yeah well that's it right like the idea is it's a false prophet in that it's just a human being and people are attributing these beliefs to uh, you know somebody that's been taking advantage of people mm -hmm. and using it for their own gain and or you know for violence as he's highlighting and, and you know i totally agree with the the concept and idea i hate that people you know will idolize false prophets and people and and put them on a pedestal and and you know we've seen that time and time again that people take advantage of that so i'm resonating with the lyrics quite a bit yeah no and i think you and i've had many conversations in the past about how people will take religion and use it for the wrong purposes. man's purposes right and that's when the problem comes into to view because they're using it for your own selfish reasons and then people like you said fall prey to becoming like he used words in there like cults and like almost like things like people are brainwashed into following something in the name of god when it's not actually because of god at all it's because of one person's desires or one person's agenda yeah like yeah. charles manson <laughs> um so yeah i mean you're liking the song this far mm -hmm. yeah seven minutes in we've got a good yeah. taste i mean at it. a first listen i feel like for me a little bit it's a little bit hard to keep up with some of the switches i feel like if i was to listen to this a couple of times it'd be like yeah. more free flowing for me but i feel like the creativity and the diversity in it is really unique yeah i think it's so technically proficient it's outstanding like you know the drums are awesome i said that you guys probably mm -hmm. heard it but i don't know if you heard it but yeah um so there's a lot of a lot of layers to this that mm -hmm. it's really really great yeah Okay. 
wild. Headbanging. Drummer Sam.
Wow. Clearly a very creative composition. Yeah. And uh, the musicianship was was outstanding. Um, you know, just from the individual contributions from each member, right? You know, playing the instruments that they're playing, they did it outstandingly. Um, you know, the creative process, like I said, to have a 14-minute song oh, like yeah. this. Um, you know, and uh, the instrumental bri a bridge that we had there. That was awesome. You like that? Yeah. I also found, though, that there was, like, okay, like, maybe this is totally off base, and I'm just, like, being influenced by this, like, visual of these sand dunes, but I almost felt... Yeah, I know what you're going to say. You felt like there was this, like, Egyptian guitar riff influence. Yeah, like, yes. I almost, well, yeah, like, Egyptian or almost, like, Arabian Middle or East, something. Middle like, Eastern, basically. I felt yeah. like I should be, like, an Aladdin or something. <laughs> yeah, I heard the same thing, but I was trying to, like, figure out if I was hearing that or if it was a visual and the same thing yeah. that you were saying. Yeah. Cause I was like, I feel like I could be like, you don't know what it reminded me of. And this is like so random because this is like a thousand times better, but it almost reminded me of the music that they play when you play the Aladdin Nintendo game. <laughs> I don't remember That's it. That's kind of what it reminded me of. Well, it's bringing you flashbacks. But anyways, yeah. what you were saying you, you enjoyed the instrumental bridge section. There? Yeah. I thought it was cool that they took a little bit of a break from that, like heavier riff and like did something different and mm -hmm. showed a little bit of diversity there and then brought the riff back in later on. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was, like I said, I thought it was great from the musicianship side of things. Um, I personally, I thought it was great, that bridge, but I don't know if I like the fit within the song. Okay. That's so, uh, you know, don't hate on me too much because <laughs> I have a criticism, but um, I'm somebody that with my metal that I've listened to, I like the groove metal. You know, I like yes. when metal has a strong groove to it and I can still keep the flow within that groove of the song. Clearly in a 14 minute song, you're going to have portions of it that They're are going to need to be, you know, such that we're switching and, and transitioning to a different section. But I just felt like that was almost taking me out of the mode of the song mm. in itself. Okay. And I had a great feel for this, you know, in the name of God and, you know, the lyrics, like I said, and the way we were kind of transitioning into each section, I felt like I was going with this rhythm and that just kind of gave me a stop for a second. Okay. Yeah, maybe they fair. wanted that and that's fine. And maybe yeah. some people really, really do like that. And I can totally understand it. Like you said, you enjoyed it. Yeah. And I think that they played, you know, the, the guitar work in there was awesome. But I think for me, it was just like, I would have preferred that to be left out of the song and be like a separate thing. Yeah. You yeah. Know, they could have done that on something else, but yeah, I <laughs> but, think for me, like I had said, I thought they were like insanely creative, really unique, really well done. Technically, like you said his vocal was awesome. Yeah. I mean, individually, they're just so outstanding. Like everything that they were doing, I was like, wow, that's awesome. That's mm -hmm. so great. And, um, even the song itself, the way it's written, the messaging behind it, the lyrics, it was very poetic. It was to the point they blended this great musicianship with the, the concept that they were putting forth. Um, you know, I think that they did a great job as well of tackling this subject without taking jabs at, at religion, so to speak. Do you know what I mean? It, it was like they were, they were highlighting the nuance of problems within religion. Yep. Rather than just saying, as you hear an atheist maybe will say, you know, all religion is ridiculous and I hate religion and it's just the cause of all the problems in the world. Yeah. You know, that's kind of a generalization, yep. not a kind of, it is a generalization. Yeah. And with them, with this, they kind of went further in depth with that and, and didn't, you know, say, okay, all religion is bad. They just said that there's portions of religion that can be manipulated for the wrong reasons. Yep. And because it's so powerful, because people can believe in something divine that can lead to them to not having the reasoning and the, the, the there's blindly follow. Yeah. The uh, problem solving and the critical thinking skills to ensure that it doesn't happen for because sure. it's such a powerful tool. Yep. And so I liked that they were able to combine that concept with yeah. this message and highlight something they had a problem with without basically annoying somebody like me that is, you know, like I said, somebody that believes in God. So yeah, sure. I, I really appreciated that side of, of the creativity. Yeah. I think they took like a really great approach to it as well. And I also really liked at the end how they kind of did that fade out with the vocal mm -hmm. overlay of like those really like yeah. subtle, um, like the glory, 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 hallelujah again. Right. Like those are like words that are used a lot in religion and church, like, you know, glory be to God, to God and hallelujah, very religious concepts and to kind of have that fading out. And I think that also complimented, like you said, it, that they're not necessarily saying that like, you know, God or religion as a whole, you should just not believe in any of it. It's just keep your eyes open and, and don't 
let it be used for the wrong reasons. Yeah. Yeah. So that was very cool. I think obviously they're very talented, uh, musician so yeah. i would like to listen to more if you have any great recommendations any i don't know where this falls in their catalog of of material in terms of popularity so uh if you want to let us know if this is one of their more popular songs or if it's not yeah. and uh, this was just something that pico man wanted to, us yeah. to check out <laughs> yeah. um but dream theater was very you know very talented so i would like to see what else is in their catalog so let that let us know Thank by you. dropping a comment down below and uh if you want to subscribe this is your first time on the channel thanks for coming by but we We'd love to have you as a part of the community. If you keep coming back, thank you so much for the support. Yes. And uh, if you hit that like button before you go, that is appreciated as well. It helps with our channel, but it helps with your algorithm to make sure that you get Dream Theater as well. Any thoughts that you want to add before we go? No, I love this. Just like Bell said, if you guys have any suggestions, drop them in the comments. All right, guys, that's it from us today. We'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for watching.